Hello and welcome to Angry Andy Reviews. Way back in 2016, the Evil Dead 2 board game began as a Kickstarter campaign from a company called Space Goat Productions, a company that seemingly specialised in this kind of product and other comic book related items. The Kickstarter was a huge success, amassing a total of $722,000 against a mere goal of $70,000. It was huge. It broke milestones for the company and stretch goals for the game were unlocked en masse. Such was the success of its campaign that Space Goat launched another campaign at the same time centred around the Terminator franchise. At this point I had already backed the Evil Dead 2 game and didn't really fancy backing another one at the time. The Evil Dead 2 game was also the very first project that I had ever backed on Kickstarter, such was my love of the Evil Dead 2 film itself. But things began to spiral and fall apart very quickly. The game itself was delayed, citing various issues with production and rights, as was the Terminator game. Months turned into years as rumours arose as to Spaceco and its founder Sean Burry running into financial difficulties. Eventually there was no news, only silence and backers were left with huge holes in their pockets and pure rage. I myself was left disheartened by it but fully understanding of the risks of Kickstarter. Kickstarter is like any investment firm, sometimes your investment pays out, sometimes it doesn't. Space Goat and Sean Burry, however, popped up in early 2018, announcing they would be initiating an equity crowdfunding campaign. This failed massively, and after a brief message in May 2018, nothing was ever heard of Space Goat and Sean Burry ever again hundreds of thousands of dollars spread across two campaigns vanished, squandered due to poor management and greed. The Evil Dead 2 game became a hard lesson for Kickstarter hopefuls and users. I haven't backed anything since myself, but, and this is a big but, along came an apparent saviour in the form of Jasco Games. They picked up the remains of Space Goat's failure, the licensed the franchise and vowed to finish the game via a new crowdfunding campaign, but one that would give original backers the game with no further charge, as a sort of gesture of goodwill, and that is the key point. They offered that up, they didn't have to, but they did. The only thing you would have to pay would be postage costs. Lynn Vander Studios, under the publishing arm of Jasco Games, has crafted this game using some of the old concepts and elements. Lynn Vander Studios has also been responsible for a Buffy the Vampire Slayer board game, and after nearly four years since the start of the original Kickstarter campaign from Space Goat, here is the Evil Dead 2 board game in this box. Now, I haven't opened it, I've got no idea what it looks like, I've got no idea you know what they've sent out. I haven't really followed anything since I saw the equity crowdfunding campaign fall apart. So literally I am just going to open this right now and then we'll see what we get. So I got an email not long ago saying that the game was finished and they would be shipping it out and I was quite surprised to be quite honest. I honestly never thought this would ever see the light of day but here it is. I did have a look on Jasco Games' website, and they do have quite a lot of other games on there. I think they've got a Street Fighter game on there, and they sell a lot of miniatures and other figures, probably as expansions for the games. They are obviously based in the US, so I'm very surprised this actually came. But here we go, let's have a look, let's see what's in here. Wow, there is a lot of these. This is going to be a bit messy. Okay, so what have we got? So that, interesting enough, Evil Dead 2 the board game extras pack, wow okay, that's very interesting. So you can see, Jasco Games right at the bottom, they have 
got license from Studio Canal as well. And that's obviously Linvander Studios. So this must be fully licensed then. That is really, really cool. So yeah, there's loads of extras in here. You yeah, just have a look there on the back. I don't know whether you can see too well. Yeah, you probably can't see it at all, to be quite honest. But let me read it out. So the components you get in here. Bad Ash. Gooseneck Henrietta. Crazy Deer Head. <laughs> wow, okay. There is a lot in here. I'm very surprised. Now this is one of the original uh, stretch goals, I think. If I remember rightly. For the original thing, so they picked that up and added it in. So that's one of the components they've obviously saved, which is really, really interesting. Let's just get rid of that. Okay. Oh, this is going to be very messy. Hang on. <clears throat> this is also a lot bigger than I anticipated. What have we got in here? Let's get rid of that. Nothing else in there. Nope. Center card out combat ash huh. very cool and like a little sleeve that's interesting you can see that properly this is really bad there you go so that is really really interesting huh. no idea what this is for like I said I haven't really followed any of the updates that they've done to this at all I'm literally just going in blind but here we go there it is evil did 2 board game Let's just get rid of that so we can see properly. Let's just shave this off. Maybe help the glare a bit as well, maybe. Yeah, there we go. That is a pretty swish cover. Let's that cover just slides off there, and there you go. <laughs> wow, this is pretty cool, actually. Again, fully licensed everything right on the back there. Tells you all the details about the game, the components you get in. There's a lot of components. Kill a tree, the hand, Henrietta. Ed, Annie, Linda. <laughs> Evil Linda. And you can see all like the little miniatures on the back there as well. A lot of these are the components that were taken directly from the original campaign, from what I remember, because I can clearly remember that tree. That tree was originally a stretch goal, I think. If I remember rightly, as was Ash there as well. I think that was a original stretch goal. Wow, really interesting. I'm really quite surprised by how much is here, to be honest. And this box, this, this box is heavy. This is a heavy box. A lot heavier than most standard board games, I've got to be honest. It's got a big rule book there. As you can see is really really full jeez this is going to take a lot of reading <laughs> this is not like the standard rule book for Monopoly or Cluedo this is like it's going to take some reading but the artwork there's some artwork in there if you can see that the artwork looks incredible it's really really good it's Ash Bruce Campbell there right at the front wow this is really, really clever. Let's get rid of that for a second. So there's all sorts of other little advertisements you can get, you know, for extras pack, Cine Story, which I've heard about, but never really looked into in there, obviously. There's the proof. Jasko Games and Limbanda Studios, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer board game. Not really my cup of tea, but... There it is. Now this, whoa, okay. So they're all like the little tabs and whatever. Obviously you use them over the course of the game. I've just popped one out. That's not very smart. There we go, get rid of that. Oh. Got all these as well. Even more. Absolutely tons of stuff in here. Absolutely tons of stuff. If you can see that properly. Items and Holy water! <laughs> madness. Absolute madness. And this is the actual board itself. So let's have a look. Let's peel this out and have a quick gander. Whoa! Look at that. Where am I going? There we go. That's better. That looks pretty swish. 
This is very, very highly detailed. I don't know if you can see the details probably, that's the only problem. But this is really, really well detailed. It's the cabin where they obviously get stuck. I'm very, very surprised. We've got work shed down the bottom. Can you see that? There you go. Work shed. They say tool shed and the thing, don't they? But never mind, we'll let that slide. Interesting. That is really, really good. I, again, I'm constantly being surprised by what they've provided here. Which is a good thing. I've just lifted my chair up. Oh, that's nothing. And here we go. Let's have a look what's in here. What have we got here? So we've got all the cards, event cards, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, it says event on the back. <laughs> I'll just get rid of them. Now oh, there's the miniatures. That's not very small, to be fair. That is pretty big, that's quite hefty. And that is solid as well, that's really solid. So there's the evil tree. You can see it probably. Now obviously they're not painted, but those of you with the artistic grace will probably be able to get them painted. Again, I'm constantly being surprised there's obviously a creature that comes through the door at the end. Really, really great so far. If you die. There you go. Some die there. You see it properly. Probably not. Yeah, there we go. Obviously, I'll have to read the rules to find out exactly what all this means, but again, the quality is immense. So, credit to Jasco Games there, I think. Massive credit. Considering, you know, they didn't have to send this out because I'm not a backer on their, their new campaign. I'm literally just an original backer. So, you really have to give them credit, I think, for getting this out to, you know, original backers. What have we got in here? We've got all the other miniatures here as well. Let's pop a few out and have a look. Huh. Now these are obviously a lot more smaller. Can we get a proper thing on it? There we go. These will be characters from, I think probably both the first two, first two films, maybe? But obviously you can do be able to get these <laughs> evil Linda can you see that there we go just about again for people that are more artistically inclined you'll be able to get these fully painted I think I think the material is designed for that as well which is great that's great news not for me because I can't paint anything like this I will literally just be ha I'll literally just have this as sort of a memento and there's a load of figures here I mean, look at this all these figures absolutely tons absolutely tons of figures huh. the hand or is that just a tree that's the thing that's the tree root isn't it oh come on let's get you going there we go coming into focus slightly so yeah, just the tree root. Where is Ash? Let's find Ash. Let's find Ash. There he is. Oh, that is a that is an awesome miniature. If you can see that properly. Come on, focus. Ah, oh, it's a shame. It's not focusing. Come on. Anyway. Who cares? I can see it, and it looks really, really good. The detail on it is incredible. You've got the chainsaw, you've got his shotgun. He's in full armour and everything. That's, that's so good. Let me just see if I can get it. Come on. There you go. Just about. Detail's great on it. Again, if you can get that painted, it's going to be fantastic. There we go. What else have we got in here? There's more. Absolutely more. What is all this? More miniature figures. Wow, I am really, really surprised by this. Really, really surprised. It probably helps that I just hadn't 
followed anything that Jasco Games was doing with this. I mean, there's all those other backers out there that have probably already received this and, you know, we're expecting what they've got. But this is this is completely different. I'm very surprised. And quite grateful as well, actually. It's really, really good. I'm not sure what the quality of this video is going to be like, because I am literally quite just taken aback by all of this, to be honest. So, if it seems like I'm rambling... <laughs> See, if it seems like I'm rambling, then I probably am, to be fair. Oh, come on, zoom. I'm going to get focused. Because this is a great image here. There you go. Straight from the second film. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Come on, focus. Need a new camera, that's what I need to do. Invest in a new camera, Andrew. Ah, oh, terrible. I mean, you can just about see it. The detail's great on that. Wow, really, really great. Very, very surprised. I've got to admit, I'm very, very surprised by the sheer amount of stuff they've provided for literally no extra charge apart from postage. You know, it kind of makes it all worthwhile, really, that um, Jasco Games have done this for the original backers. So, it's been four years, but it's here, and it's a lot better than I would have given it credit, you know, if I'd have been watching them put it all together over the last year or so. A lot better. <laughs> yes. There it is. There's the hand. Oh, you can't see it. These are so tiny, though. So tiny. But that is great. That's the hand. Absolutely fantastic. Right, well, I'm going to leave it there because, like I said, I think I am pretty much rambling, but credit, massive credit to Jasco Games and Lynn Vander Studios for this because this is very impressive and shocking in all the right ways. So thank you very much, Jasco Games. You probably won't see this video, you know, but... If I put it out there, then at least, you know, I'm sharing my appreciation for it. It's something that you really didn't have to do. So, again, thank you very much, uh, Jasco Games, for this. It really is really, really cool. And this will forever be a memento, I think. <laughs> so there you go. If you're interested, obviously, check out jascogames.net, I think it is. Have a look what else they've got on there. They clearly shipped to the UK, otherwise I wouldn't have got this. So... There we have it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. If you've got one of these yourself, leave a comment. You know, what did you think about this? Did you know what you were going to be getting? You know, are you as surprised as I am as to the, the level of quality involved with the actual game and all the items that are included? You know, <clears throat> what are you planning to paint them? How would you paint them? Do you know anyone who can paint them? That kind of stuff. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And, you know, I hope you enjoy and appreciate this game as much as I am, to be quite honest. So, again, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.